all racing fans. Welcome to Delaware Park. I'm your host, J.J. Gracie. We'll be watching races from uh, Monday, July 5th. We had nine races, and we had a lot of good racing. Our turf course was good, and our main track was fast. The weather was in the 80s, and we had a light breeze. And let's get right to the first half of the early daily double, which will be contested at 5 eighths a mile for maiden Philly two-year-olds. We had six. Here's the six two-year-old Phillies. Here's Josh. Away and running. Good speed from Still My Babe, who breaks right on cue. It is what it is, was tapped for some early speed. And Beautiful Gorges is right there in the main body, too. I Love Maria came away in fourth with Maestria having one beaten. And Boss Lady Kim is fanned wide as they are grouped with only two lanes covered in the front and the back. And that was short-lived. And here comes It Is What It Is. Trying to squeeze on through but couldn't get by. Still My Babe continues the lead. But Boss Lady Kim starts an ominous move on the outside. And Beautiful Gorges is in between rivals on the wide outside Maestria is starting to get going I love Maria second last it is what it is was blocked for a run as that quarter pole passes for boss lady Kim and the inside of still my babe three wide Maestria is coming with a hopeful bid as they come inside the three sixteenths and boss lady Kim trying to shrug off the challenge of Maestria who's charging with plenty of pace on the far outside still my babe is back to third and there goes Maestria on debut trying to get past a stubborn boss lady Kim who kicks again. Boss Lady Kim has won it by a neck. A gritty effort by Boss Lady Kim shipping in from Mama Park for Greg Sacco. Give him his first and give Boss Lady Kim a good effort. 462-8210. Mysterio was second, 320-220. And still my babe was third, 280. I love Marie was fourth. Your exacta was worth 1560. Your try was worth $47. And your super was worth $100.00. 60 cents. Let's go to the second half of the early daily double, which will be contested at five and a half furlongs, claiming five Phillies and mares. Take out the two. We had six runners. Here's the second half of the early daily double on Monday. Air in the gate. Away and running. Blue Sky Venezuela left the stalls well, but Susie Kin beats everybody out of the blocks, and a toast to Kay is right there, too. So those are the three across the track. Ruby Punch is alongside Bees and Bees in a compact group, and Chit Chat Girl patiently ridden at the back of the pack. They have four furlongs to go, and Susie Kin protects the rail. Blue Sky Venezuela is dipped out very wide. A toast to K is right there in the thick of it too. And right behind the speed is Bees and Bees. Ruby Punch has one beaten and Chit Chat Girl is trying to latch on to the others. Around the turn at the 5 16ths and the favorites ready to roll. Blue Sky Venezuela tries to take the lead away from Susie Kin as Field turns to the quarter pole. Blue Sky Venezuela is in hand and looking good at the 3 16ths. Susie Kin tries to dig deep and find more. A toast to K is right there in a position to challenge as they approach the furlong grounds. Blue Sky Venezuela still has not been asked. Getting closer is a toast to Kay and Susie Kin's back into third inside the 70 yard marker and it's all Blue Sky Venezuela as the four to five favorite did is what she wanted to do. The solid favor today didn't let down. Blue Sky Venezuela gets the job done. Michael Gorham gets his fourth. Charlie Marquez gets his eighth. And Blue Sky Venezuela returned 380-240-220. A toast to K, 260-240. Suskin returned 540. Chit Chat Girl was fourth. Your $2 exact is 7 and 6, 980. Your try 7, 6 and 1, 76, 60. Your daily double 6 and 7, 15, 20. And your super was worth $98.20. And let's go to the third race, which will be contested at 5 eighths a mile. This is made in special weight for Colts and Geldings. We had a field of seven. This was a good one. Here's a break. Away and running. Great speed from Hootie Who and Captain Candy. They break one, two, and up the inside is 1484. King of Hollywood came away in fourth position. Bad to the bones is caught out deep by handsome mans in front of that one, and addicted to chaos is last of all. Three and a half for longs to go for Captain Candy, who sets the tone, but Hootie Who is right there breathing down that rival's neck in second. 1484 has the run of the race in the all blue if good enough. Bad to the bone starts to kick it into gear. So does my handsome man. Around the turn and the pace just changed with 1484 taking the lead at 50 to 1. 
Cootie who's in second position. Captain Candy sit down against the fence and on the wide outside is bad to the bones. But 1484 is giving this field plenty to think about. Hootie who trying to salvage second. Bad to the bones rallies and my handsome man tries to close in. But lighting up the board like a Christmas tree on the 25th of December. 1484 pays a hundred dollar bill to win. This one went in a common gallop first time out going off at 50 to 1. Give Balthazar Gothazar his third to return $106.60, 32.40 in the middle, 11.40 on the end, addicted to chaos, $12.680, the seven was third, bad to the bones, and we, we who was fourth. The exact was worth $733.20, your trifecta was worth $2,390.40, your daily double was worth $145.80, your pick three was worth $218.80, and 80 cents and your super was worth a nice three thousand nine hundred thirty seven dollars and thirty cents that'll bring us over to the fourth race and we're going to go at a distance of five and a half furlongs phillies and mares 6250 take out the two here's josh here's your fifth the fourth away and running Good break for them all. Kid Mercury was the first one to break the line. Sandy Lane Kitten is right there, too, so the favorites are 1 2 in the early go. Shenham shares third with Lucky Ramsey, who takes that position away, and Troubled Coffee came away in fifth. Mokeith protects the inside while Jag is caught three deep in this first turn of three, and Andre's Conquest is last of all. So Sandy Lane Kitten turns into the stretch for the first time round, nursing a one length lead. In second position is Kid Mercury, and off the inside, trying to get closer is Trouble Coffee along with Lucky Ramsey. A rail position for Shenham who's in front of three rivals which includes Mokif who's ground saving, Jag who's second last, and Andres Conquest is last of all. They move in front of us for the first time and Sandy Lane Kitten, one of two that sit at five to two, leads the charge into the second turn. Kid Mercury is right there patiently ridden in second position and Mokif on the inside is starting a ground saving move. Lucky Ramsey is caught three deep around the second of three turns and Shenham is in between rivals. Jag is near the backfield along with Trouble Coffee and nothing yet from Andre's Conquest. So they get ready to leave the second turn behind and Sandy Lane Kitten continues to control the clock and shows the way three parts of a length. Kid Mercury is right there getting second to a slow pace and Lucky Ramsey is committed to a three wide kick. Mo Keefe has the run of the race if good enough. Shenham continues to float in between rivals. Jag continues to be well clear in front of Trouble Coffee and Andre's Conquest as they go back to where they began. And Sandy Lane Kit leads with three and a half furlongs to go and shows the way three parts of a length. Kid Mercury has eyeballed the speed every step of the way. Mo Keefe stays parked at the rail. Sandham is parked too deep and on the wide outside, they start to turn with Trouble Coffee near the back of the pack. Around the turn with a quarter to go. Sandy Lane Kitten trying to see this through for another three sixteenths of a mile. Kid Mercury is right there slowly plugging away. Shenham is closing mid-track. Mokeef needs to go and go now. And they're into the stretch. And Kid Mercury makes that mid-track burst. But Shenham has all this positive momentum on the outside. And at 5-1, to one, Shenham rolls to the top. Off the fence is Mokeef to try to beat Kid Mercury. But it's Shenham who wins. Under strong Mercury, urging by okay. Ramon Mena, give Juan Aragada his sixth, give Mena his ninth, and Shadam returned 1285-2320. Kid Murphy was second, four dollars to three dollars. Monkeep was third, two sixty, and City Lane Kitty was fourth. Your exact one and three fifty eighty. Your try one three and five one forty six. Your daily double a pair of ones one thousand twenty four forty. Your pick three seven one and one. $525.10, and your pick four was worth $1,892.90, and your super was worth $197.40. Let's go to the fifth race. We're going to go five and a half furlongs. Philly and Maris claiming $62.50, non winners to two. We had a field of seven. Here's your break. Here's Josh.
Away Yan running, slow to go as Kabaika and safely touch, and there goes Square Peg, catapulting out of the gate, but there goes Captivating Gal to take the lead away, and Peekaboo ICU will keep her company, and the pace is solid too. Square Peg's in third, Courageous Grace trying to squeeze on through a very tight spot. Classy but Sassy is in fifth position at the half small pole. Kabaika takes that position away, and last of all is safely touched. They spin into the bend, and it's Courageous Grace who tries to protect the rail and has a neck in front, but Square Peg continues to battle that rival, and Captivating Gal is three wide to take the lead away, and Kabaika is closing in with good energy too, and Peekaboo ICU is in fifth position as they pass the quarter pole. Captivating Gal leads the posse in pursuit with a one and a half length lead, trying to battle back is Courageous Grace. Kabaika off of a 679 day layoff is trying to bridge that divide, and Square Peg's in between rivals, but Captivating Gal is giving Carol Sedano, plenty of horse inside the 16th pole. Kabaika holds on to second, square peg in third, and Peekaboo ICU closes into the super, but Captivating Gal lives up to the 1 to 2 hype. The 1 to 2 favorite, Captivating Gal, captivated the fifth race today to return $3, 220, and 210. The one was second, 520, and 360. Square peg was third, $10. Peekaboo ICU was fourth. The exact was worth 2660. The try was worth 27440. The double was worth 2940. Your pick three was worth 56270. While your super was worth $447.40. And that was the fifth race. Let's go to the sixth race. We're going to go five and a half furlongs. Claim is 6250. Take out the four. That left us six runners. Here's the sixth. Here's Josh. Away and running. Good speed. One from the inside from Holy Saint. There goes Nautical Nature, who's tapped for speed. And Stormy My Way came away in third. On the wide outside, Tom Terrific's in that fourth place spot. Rocket Blast has one beaten. And Day would have to pass them all. Four and a half furlongs to go. And Nautical Nature has a nice and easy lead by a length and three quarters with four furlongs to go. Holy Saint tracks the pace in second. And Stormy My Way is two pass off the fence for clear sailing and continues a steady advance. Tom Tom Terrific behind a trio of speed. Rocket Blast still has one beaten, and that's Day. Five sixteenths to go, and now Holy Saint takes the baton away from Nautical Nature, but dealing with the oncoming presence of Stormy My Way and Tom Terrific. Heads turn for home, and Holy Saint is a little wide, but still has the lead. Stormy My Way tries to come up and over the top. Tom Terrific stacks him up three across the course. Rocket Blast is closing in for a minor award. Eighth pole passes. Holy Saint still leading. Stormy My Way is still chasing. Tom Terrific trying to pass the both of them. A three-prong battle. Here's the line. Holy Saint wins. Holy Sway holds safe. Goes off at 2-1. to one. The return 620, 280-220. Stormy My Way was second, 280-210. Tom Terrific was third, $2.40. Rocket Blast was fourth. Your exact was worth thirteen sixty. Your try was worth $29. Your daily double was eight eighty. Your pick three was thirty-seven thirty. And your super was worth $39.80. That'll bring us up to the seventh race. We're going to go five furlongs on the turf. Take out the five, take out the seven, and the eight, and the 11. Here you got some grass runners. Here's Josh. Away and running. On the outside, Bell Mullet was fast off the blocks, but there goes Hard to Be Humble and Rail Speed from Bloodproof. And also right there is Hale Southern, and those are the first four. False Alarm came away in fifth. Then Archer probes up the fence to be in sixth. In seventh position is Papa Luke in front of the outside rivals, which include Marsak, who ducks towards the inside. Exchange Fever has one beaten, and nothing from True Shipman. They blaze the trail into the far turn run, and Hard to Be Humble off the outside is a neck behind. Bloodproof continues to lead. And eyeballing the speed is False Alarm and Bell Mullet. These are the four passing the quarter pole. And Bloodproof continues the lead. Hard to be humble continues the chase. False Alarm waiting for his cue, but is still two lengths down. And they're inside the eighth pole. It's now Hard to be humble who strikes to the lead. Bloodproof slowly giving way. False Alarm trying to chip away along with Bell Mullet on the far outside. But it's Hard to be humble. Nicely clear. Hard to be humble wins. Hard to be humble, wasn't humble today. Give Jamie Ness his 16, give Johnny Rodriguez his 24th, and 
Or to be humble gets a new home, 664-6320. Bloodproof was second, 560-360. Bell Mullet was third, 320. And a 12 was fourth. Your exacta, $38. Your try was worth 165. Your daily double was worth 2480. Your pick three was worth 1610. And your pick five was worth $8,711. And your super was worth $799.60. That'll bring us up to the eighth race. Take out the one horse, claiming 25 to 20. Phillies and mares, nine winners of two, a mile and 70. Here's the eighth. Here's Josh. Here's your break. Away and running. Good speed from Marine Loves Frank on your mother's right there. And Isabella sent up the rail to take the early lead. Sprites Ladies behind a trio of speed. Fred Sheila's in front of one. And hello, Rosie Say has to come with a big close as they go around the first turn. So Isabella had to work for it, but got there and leads a length and a quarter. Marine Loves Frank patiently ridden in that second place position at the six and a half. And honor your mother's in third, only two and a half lengths down from the speed. Sprites Ladies protects that inside position. Fred Sheila's one off the fence, and Hello Rosie Say is last of all. Five and a half for longs to go, and Izzy Bella is the speed, and she leads the way just by a measured length. Marine Loves Frank tracks her every single move in second, and a gap of two back to Honor Your Mother, a patiently ridden third. Sprite's Lady has saved ground throughout. Fred Sheila's still in front of one, and Hello Rosie Say is last of all. There's been no change at the half ball pole, and Izzy Bella continues the dictate her own terms, but Marine Loves Frank now gets a bit closer to the speed. A gap of three and a half to honor your mother, Fred Sheila, Sprite's lady, and last of all is Hello Rosie Say, and there goes Marine Loves Frank, who could wait no more. Izzy Bell is trying to dig deep and find more. Honor your mother's creeping closer to Marine Loves Frank, and these are the two inside the quarter pole. Marine Loves Frank hugs that corner with a one and a half length lead. Honor your mother's floated deep, but continues to slowly trip away at the three sixteenths, and Marine Loves Frank has a two and a half length lead. On your mother's is going to salvage second and try to salvage third as Isabella, but no doubt about who's best here. Six to five on the three. Marine Loves Frank, who pads the winning margin with Michael Sanchez. Marine Loves Frank was much the best. The public pick jogs to the wire for Jane Sabelli. Give her her seventh. Give Michael Sanchez his 11th. And give Marine Loves Frank 462-8210. Honor your mother was second, 94360. Isabella was third, returned 220. Hello, Rosie Say was fourth. Your exacta was worth 3920. Your try was worth 7880. Your daily double was worth $20. Your pick three was worth 2980. And your pick four was worth 4460. And your super was worth 9970. That'll bring us up to the fifth race. Maidens going. Six furlongs, take out the one. We had six maidens left. Here's the finale. Here's the break. Here's your track announcer. Away and running. Good speed in the center for Eagle Keeper. There goes Bob Man up the inside, and Restless Rocker is right there, too. And Field Officer in the all black makes it four across the course. Demir is about five lengths off of the quartet of speed and nothing yet from natural appeal. So as the dust settles, Eagle Keeper now makes play and shows the way a length in three quarters. Bob Man sneaks up the fence to grab second away from Field Officer and Restless Rocker is committed to a three wide kick. Demir continues to lag far behind and nothing today from natural appeal. On top of the far turn run, Eagle Keeper's playing catch me if you can and Bob Man right there eyeballs the speed. Restless Rocker is in third position. Field Officer starts to back up and now Demir is getting on track around the turn with a quarter pole inside. John Geraldo looks back on Bob Man to see a three quarter of a length lead. Eagle Keepers trying to salvage second as they spin off the turn and race for home. Bob Man has kicked the way to a one and a half length lead. Eagle Keeper trying to hold second. Demir is closing with good energy inside the furlong grounds, but Bob Man still nicely clear with a 16th to go. Eagle Keeper holding on to second for the moment. And here is a two to one winner. And that two to one winner is Bob Man. Bob Mann in hand and in command wins the finale to return $683.260. Eagle Keeper was second, $360.260. Then Mir was third, $3.00. And Field Officer was fourth. Your exact was worth $23.80. Your try was worth $59.40. Your daily double was $4.40. And your consolation double was $16.20. And your uh, pick three was worth $9.30. Consolation was 35.40. Your super was worth 57 dollars. 
that was the ninth race. And let's look at the leading trainers here. And Amy, I'm sorry, leading jockeys. Jamie Rodriguez picked up one today. This is 24th. And on the other side, we're going to see the leading trainers here, which will be our man Jamie Ness gets one. He gets 16. And Jane Sibeli picks one up. That's seven. That's about the only change that we had there. But today, the racing at uh, Delaware Park was outstanding. Our handle was outstanding. Two million five hundred ninety-six thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars. Certainly uh, shows that on a holiday, folks like to come out to Delaware Park. We appreciate you coming out here. We'll be back again here on Wednesday for nine more races. Come out and say hello. Good night and good racing, and always find yourself in the winner's circle.